Well, good morning, everybody. It's a brand new day on the headwaters of Sugar Cube Creek. And today I am doing a test. And the test is, is for years I have thought that, that I sight my gun in at about 3,800 feet of elevation. And when I get up to about 8,000 feet of elevation, I have a feeling that my gun shoots a little bit different. Well, I this is this will be actually my third shot. And my first shot was 150. And I hit exactly where I was aiming. So that didn't really show anything. My second shot and I'll and I'll uh put the picture in right now. That shot right there, I was I was holding to the left or to the right. I'm sorry, because I have a I have a wind right now that's coming this direction, and so I held just a little bit to the right, just so that I would have a little bit of windage to play with, uh, in case my in case my bullet went off. But what I seen was that the the shot, this is 175 yards. What I saw was my shot was about something like six inches high. And so I'll have to I'll have to check on that again. But you know as far as measurement goes. But right now I'm gonna reshoot that shot again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna hold any windage or not, because the the wind isn't blowing that much, so I I may just hold dead on it and see what happens. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shot now. I just hit that gong down there. Now's 175 yards. I guess we'll go down and see about All right, where we're making hit. our way to the target. It's right there, so we're going to take a look at it. The wind is is actually switched a little bit down in this gully, but this is where I hit. My first shot at 150 yards was right here. My second shot at 175 was right here. And my third shot at 175 was right there as well. Uh, it appears that my, my assumption that the gun shoots high at higher elevation is panning out once it gets past 150 yards uh, but it's not six inches I'm thinking four inches it's hitting about four inches high so that's good to know today I'm I'm using my hot rod hawking everybody's seen that before <laughs> there's two of my bullets right there I'm using my homemade shooting sticks. I just made these for setting shots. And uh, my lovely uh, camera crew is is my wife, Kama. Thanks, Kama. Welcome. All right, everybody. This is kind of part two on this particular shoot. I've got my hot rod renegade now. That's, that's a rifle that everybody's seen a few times. And I'm going to do the exact same shot. This is 175 yards. This is a cold, cold clean bore shot. I haven't shot this gun. Uh, the last time it was shot at all was last year. My son shot one shot and killed his, his deer. And uh, I haven't shot this gun personally in... I guess probably three or four years, so 
this will be a new one for me. If I can even hit that target, I'll be happy. But the uh, the wind is really switching on me up here. It's kind of it's kind of blowing uh, right to left down there. If the wind is coming up that gully, you can I'll have you turn that over to turn the camera over just a little bit. That gully up there. Uh, that gully, the wind is coming up it, and because the thermals are are raising because the because it's getting warmer in the day. So anyway, I'm going to give this a whirl. We'll see how I do. was a little nasty but I hit my target at 175 yards I guess we'll hike down there and take a look and see what it did I was holding from I was kind of holding a little bit low of direct center um, when the gun went off uh, this this trigger feels different than the other trigger does so I I know I was a little bit lower when I held, when that gun went off, so we'll go down and see and see. Well, what here we are. We're we're just now walking up to the target, so we're gonna go take a look and see what it looks like. Well, on this particular shot. I said back there at 175 that I held a little on the low side. I felt like I was in this area and I hit right here. Um, this rifle didn't hit on the first shot, I should say. The first shot did not hit as high as I was anticipating. I was anticipating holding right here and it was going to be, you know, right about here. but. As it turned out, it hit almost dead on where I was aiming. So, for this particular gun, I guess I'm either going to have to take another shot or just call it good and, and figure that, that the the yardage is correct right where it's at. So, and that's probably what I'll do because it's it's uh, it's looking pretty good. So, anyway, until next time, I will. I guess I'll see you on Sugar Cube Creek. This is my assistant, the lovely Idaho Cama. <laughs> I'm embarrassing you, aren't I? Yeah, I got my spray paint. <laughs> yeah, doing some graffiti, some tagging. Yeah. Mountain graffiti. See you, Cama. See you.